Today we are going to do our written assessment, uh, lesson 8.9. Uh, make sure you write your name at the top of the test. And we will begin. Question number one. Circle seven-eighths of the marbles. Okay, so you'll draw a circle around however many of the marbles would make seven-eighths. Number two. Shade two-thirds of the squares. So you'll have to know how many one-third of the squares is. Be able to divide these into thirds and then shade two-thirds of them. Okay, so divide them into three equal parts. Number three. Write at least five names in this name collection box. So in this box You'll write five names, five um, different names for writing one half. So five different ways to write it. Number four, write the missing fractions on the number line. Okay, so I'll write the missing fractions on the number line. Our number line has got one right here, zero right here. So what would these different sections be? So make sure you write in what these different sections are. Um, and there are three boxes are right here. One, two, three boxes. So write in the three names for those. Number five. Circle all the fractions below that are greater than one half. Use your fraction cards to help. So make sure you use your fraction cards to help. We need to, ones that are greater than one half. So if we've got a square divided into, we need it to be bigger than one half. Bigger than one half. Number six. In the number twenty-eight and forty-seven hundredths, the two means what? The eight means. The 4 means, the 7 means. So you'll write that in here, whatever those numbers mean. Number 7. If you wanted an equal chance of taking out a sphere or a cube, I would put in blank spheres. Notice there are two cubes in here already. You want there to be an equal chance of taking out a sphere or a cube. There's already two in here. How many spheres would you put in? Number eight. So this is a solve. Draw a picture to show what you did. Four people share eight pieces of candy. So there's eight pieces of candy going between four people. You want to draw a picture of this. How many pieces does each person get? You'll have blank pieces. Draw your picture in here. But don't forget to answer how many pieces they get. Okay, how many pieces will each person get? They'll each share it equally. Part B, what fraction of the candy did each person get? So write it as a fraction now. Remember, there's four people sharing eight pieces of candy. You'll use this picture to help you figure out that fraction. Number nine, fill in the blanks. 60 minutes equals blank hour. So how much of an hour? You'll have to know how many minutes are in an hour. 120 minutes is equal to how many hours? Okay, and how are 60 and 120 related? That might help you. 30 minutes is how much of an hour? Again, know how many minutes are in an hour. And then, how many minutes are in a quarter of an hour? So one-fourth of an hour. Look at a clock, see how you divide that up. Try to figure out how many minutes are in a quarter of an hour. Number 10. Use a straight edge. Draw the other half of the symmetric shape. So here's half of the symmetric shape. You need to draw the other half in the above section. 
Remember, it's symmetric, so it's the same top and bottom. Number 11. Shade the circles to match the mixed number or fraction. Here is your mixed number. Okay, remember one whole area would be one. If I shade in everything in here, it's one. So how much would I have to shade in of both of these to get nine-fifths? And then write in the other name for nine-fifths as a mixed number. Okay, so you have a whole number and then a fraction. Number 12, same thing. Now you have your fraction of 2 and 3 fourths. Now you'll write it uh, as an improper fraction here and shade in accordingly however much you need to with these boxes. Number 13, cross out all the names that do not belong in this name collection box. Then add one more. So there's two steps to this problem. First, first you're going to cross out all the names that do not belong. Okay? So whichever ones there are, cross them off. Okay? Not all of these names are correct. You need to cross some of them off. The other part to the problem is then add two more. So that's the second part. So there's two steps. You need to add one more to this name collection box. So think of another way to write three-fourths. Number 14. Fill in the blanks. Use a clock to help. And I also have a clock in the classroom you can use to help you when you come to this one. But feel free to use the clock that's right here. 90 minutes equals how much of an hour. Write that as a fraction. Remember to divide up your clock accordingly. Blank minutes is one and one quarter hours. Blank minutes is one third of an hour. And blank minutes is one sixty of an hour. Five minutes equals how much of an hour. So try to divide those up the best you can. All right. If you're not sure, try to make a very estimated guess. Remember, we're going to divide these up. Remember how many minutes are in an hour. And that'll help you. Number 15, Laura's, so use coins to help you solve, so you can use the coins in the classroom. Laura's mom gave her three-fourths of a dollar to buy a drink. Greg's mom gave him four-fifths of a dollar to buy a drink. Who received more money? Here you're going to either write Laura or Greg, one of the two. Now explain how you got that answer. Okay, Using money, using the coins, you can try to figure out how you can divide a dollar into four equal parts and five equal parts, and that'll help you. Because Laura got three-fourths of a dollar, and Greg got four-fifths of a dollar. If I wanted to take a sphere... Sorry, if I want to take out a sphere about half as much as a cube, I would put in blank spheres. Notice there are four cubes. There's four cubes. I want to take out half as many spheres. Half as many. Half as many spheres. So how many would I put in? Number... Um, for the 8.9, the open response, solving a coin problem. Number one, tell how many of each coin Robert found. Show all of your work. Use coins, pictures, counters, or whatever you need. So again, you can use coins or counters for this. Robert found 24 coins. One-third are pennies. One-fourth are nickels. One-sixth are dimes. The rest were quarters. So how many pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters did he have? There's 24 coins. Last ones. Number two, explain how you found the number of dimes. So this relates to the problem above. Tell how you got that number of dimes. Number three. 
how much are his coins worth altogether? So total them up, show your work down below. So total up all of the coins from above, and how much is that worth? You'll have a dollar amount, so you'll have a certain amount of money. When you're all done, show Mr. S, and you will be completed.